Located in scenic Sonoma County, only 60 miles north of the Golden Gate, the Alliance Redwoods Outdoor Education Program has served over 100,000 elementary students since 1982. Our newly remodeled and recently LEED certified facility utilizes renewable energy sources and green recycling processes. Our classroom is a 117-acre living ecosystem with a vibrant mixture of mountains, valleys, redwoods, and streams where students have the opportunity to encounter firsthand the wonders and mysteries of the world around them. I mean, it's such a beautiful setting. The redwoods um, on a mountainside, you know, 20 minutes from the beach. You can't really beat that. What can't you like about the setting? It's beautiful. You need to look up and all you see is trees. Qualified naturalists, each holding a college degree, teach a variety of interactive programs on topics including forest ecology and wildlife, geology, pond and stream, and herpetology, all of which meet California's curriculum standards. Alliance Redwoods is a great opportunity for teachers to kind of have all your science condensed in a week. The science classes tie in really nicely with both the fourth grade curriculum that they've had in the past and then also the fifth grade science standards that they're doing. So it's nice for them to see that those skills that we teach them within our little four walls apply outside of the classroom. That, wow, there's students that went to college and they know this stuff too. You get these students who may not be successful in the classroom uh, academically, but then they come out and they're working with their hands and they start to really experience science the way that it's supposed to be really taught. So this thing is the fastest growing plant in the forest here, okay? You know, Noah? Photosynthesis, nice job. You're right, photosynthesis is going on right now. And right now, as we speak, those plants are making sugar inside their leaves for the plant to eat on. Our philosophy of outdoor education is experiential in that we provide hands-on, discovery-oriented exploration, <laughs> allowing students to learn oh, for yeah. themselves by seeing, touching, smelling, and tasting. Don't eat too many because it'll make you feel My colleagues and I are able to give them just a glimpse of the vast beauty that's available to them and to let them know that, you know what, there are things outside of school, there's things outside of home, there's outside things outside of the city. There, you can tell that they have a better, a firmer grasp of what our impact is as human beings on Earth itself. Uh, I think that's the biggest part that you come home with. The uh, oldest redwood tree on camp is right behind me. It's Walter. I learned about redwoods, how they could grow over like 300 feet, and there's a giant redwood tree deep in the forest named Walter. Walter, that's humongous, about 800 years old. Groups have the option of taking off-site field trips to the tide pools along the Sonoma Coast and Armstrong Woods where naturalists mix fun and adventure with education. Another opportunity available is group initiatives, which are team building activities focused on problem solving and communication skills, allowing students to develop attitudes of cooperation, trust and safety, and reinforce their own sense of self-worth. In the classroom, we try and set things up so they always have a success. But there are times with initiatives where they fail at something and it's nice to be able to watch, even though it's hard, it's nice to watch them work through that and come together as a team. And especially when they actually can accomplish the task, just the excitement that they feel and the pride. And the fact that sometimes you'll see kids that are really quiet within your classroom step up and take a leadership position that they wouldn't take when they're on campus. 41 seconds. The Redwood Tree Based Challenge courses consisting of high and low ropes activities zip lines, giant swings, and climbing walls may truly be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. These very courses allow students to challenge themselves and overcome their fears while building self-esteem and confidence. The thing I like about Rose Courts is it always brings out the character of the child because for them it's either they have to trust their they have to trust their peers or they have to trust themselves and really believe that they can do it. It happens at least once. Once a challenge course, you have a kid who is afraid of heights or is just afraid of, of taking that step and challenging themselves. And after a while, you get a couple of kids that go up or you get an adult that goes up and, and they realize, hey, this is attainable. I can do this. This could be me. I think the thing I 
like the most is the way the kids seem to change by the end of the week. Because when you bring them, you know, their parents are very nervous about it and they always make comments to me at the end of the week that their kids come back different, like they're more helpful at home or they just seem more mature. We go back for it!